Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how to control RGB LED strip with any kind of IR remote to generate 7 colors. So let's get started. For this we need 12 volt and 5 volt power supply. So I'll take 12 volt from the power supply and then I'll convert it to the 5 volt with 7805IC. This one is pin number 1, it is pin number 3 and it is pin number 2. Pin number 2 is connected to the ground. Pin number 1 should be connected to plus 12 volt and here is our output plus 5 volt. T sub 1838. It has 3 pin. This one is T sub 1838. The left pin is pin number 1. Middle one is the pin number 2. And the third one, that is the right pin, is pin number 3. The middle pin, that is pin number 2, it should be connected to the ground. And with the pin number 3, we will connect plus 5 volt. And in between plus 5 volt to the ground, we will connect one ceramic capacitor and it is 0.01 microfarad. Then we will connect another capacitor and it is 22 microfarad. It is electrolyte capacitor. We need triple five timer IC. Pin number one of this sensor is connected to the pin number two. Pin number one is connected to the ground and pin number five is connected with a capacitor and then it is connected to the ground. Its value is 0.01 microfarad. Pin number 4 and 8, these both are connected together and then it is connected to plus 5 volt. Then we need another IC, it is 7490. Its pin number 5 is connected to the plus 5 volt and pin number 6, 7 and 10, these three are connected to the ground. Pin number 3 of triple 5 is connected to pin number 14 of 7490. With this pin, 1 kilo ohms resistor is connected and then it is connected to the ground. Pin number 6 and 7, these both are connected together. Here it is 33 kilo ohms resistor and then it is connected to pin number 6 and 7. And another capacitor is connected with it and then it is connected to the ground. Its value is 4.7 microfarad. Here it is pin number 2, 3 and 11. These three pins are connected together. Pin number 1 and 12, these both are connected together and with this a resistor is connected. Also with pin number 8 and with pin number 9. Then we need three transistor. All these resistors are connected in the base of the transistor. Here it is collector and emitter. All three emitters are connected to the ground. Now see here, it is common anode RGB LED strip and it has 4 pins, black, green, red and blue. This black pin is common anode pin and other 3 pins are cathode pin. So here is our LED strip. So with the black pin, we are going to connect plus 12 volt. With the first transistor that is connected in 1 and 12, here we will connect blue pin that is this blue pin and then we will connect the red pin and then we will connect green pin with blue and green we will connect 10 kilo ohms resistor and the transistor connected with red pin its base resistor is 1 kilo ohms this transistor are BD139 this transistor can handle up to 1.5 ampere so you have to maintain the load now this is all about the circuit now we'll see this on the breadboard here it is triple five seven four nine zero pin number four and eight this both are connected to positive rail pin number one is connected to the ground and pin number six seven and ten these three are connected to the ground and pin number 5 of 7490 is connected to positive rail. Pin number 2 and 3, these both are connected together. And these both are connected to the pin number 11. Pin number 1 and 12 is connected.
pin number 6 and 7 these two are connected together and with this 33 kilo ohms resistor is connected and it is connected to positive rail and again a capacitor is connected and the negative pin of the capacitor is connected to negative rail with pin number 5 0.01 microfarad capacitor is connected and then it is connected to ground rail I have connected pin number 3 with the pin number 4 that is it is connected to positive rail pin number 2 that is middle pin is connected to negative rail and pin number 1 is connected to pin number 2 connect both the positive and negative rail and with the pin number 3 pin number 14 is connected as it is plus 5 volt rail so I am connecting 22 microfarad capacitor here it is 7805 ground is connected to the ground rail pin number 3 is connected to positive rail and in between pin number 2 and 3 0.01 microfarad capacitor is connected now with the pin number 1 we will connect 12 volt and with the pin number 14 1 kilo ohms resistor is connected and then it is connected to ground now I will take another breadboard put all 3 transistor now see here this pin is base of the transistor this middle pin is collector of the transistor and this pin is emitter of the transistor now with this both of the transistor I am connecting 10 kilo ohms resistor and with this 1 kilo ohms resistor emitter is connected to the ground rail now this ground is connected to this in this rail I will supply 12 volt so this 12 volt is connected to pin number 1 of 7805 pin number 12 is connected to this transistor 9 is connected to this one and with pin number 8 I am connecting this one blue is connected to this transistor green is connected here and the red is connected with this transistor and black that is common anode so this pin should be connected to plus 12 volt so this is all about the connection now I am connecting plus 12 volt here is the positive and here is the negative I am turning off my lights you can use any kind of remote I am using this one it is ceiling fan remote now I am pressing any one of them cyan red magenta yellow white now I turned off all the lights now you can see it better it is blue green cyan red magenta yellow and white So guys this is all for today i hope you like this video if so then please like share and subscribe to my channel and if you have any doubt on this then please let me know in the comment section in the next video i'll show you another topic till then stay happy and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching